Good afternoon and welcome to Valley Views. I'm your host, Glenn Edison. Certainly glad to have you today. And as always, we want to thank BTC Fiber who hosts our program. And you can see these interviews on BTC Fiber's YouTube page as well as BTC Fiber's cable channel 18. And we also want to thank our sponsors for this program, which is Ember's Ice Cream of Pikeville, Nickel Row Antique of Pikeville, and White Wagon Bed and Breakfast of Pikeville. So if you're in Pikeville and near those places, Go by and check them out. They're nice folks there and they'll help you out in any way they can. And today we have with us, <coughs> excuse me, Sarah Messer. She's the store manager here at AutoZone of Pikeville. And Sarah, it's good to have you today. Thank you for being with us. You got it. Uh, before we get into the uh, uh, AutoZone, I know everybody knows AutoZone is a um, park store. Mm -hmm. But uh, at least I think most people know that. Right. <laughs> but uh, let's get into a little bit of background about about you and your retail experience and how how all that transpired. Well, um, I've worked for auto, this auto zone I'm here in Pikeville for about four and a half years. And um, previous I, I worked for Walmart for about 23 years. Uh -huh. So I've all my life has been a retail experience. Um, auto zone's a lot different than Walmart would be simply because you get to interact more with the customers uh -huh. and it's more it's more friendly and it's more customer oriented and it's just it's great it's a it's a great atmosphere and especially uh -huh. here in Pikeville it's a great it's a great community well good and uh how long has the store been here? It's been here about 16 years. About 16 years? Yeah. That long? It was built in uh, March of 06. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it'd been here that long. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That's, that's great. Mm -hmm. Now, in the in those years, um, I guess, um, um, you know what what brought AutoZone to Pipeville? Did they want to be part of a smaller community or what? I think it was the need um, because, you know, at that time we had a, we, we have an AutoZone in Crossville and in, Dun in, in Dunlap and everyone had to go to Crossville because Dunlap and our store opened at the same time. Oh, okay. Like a couple days apart. Uh -huh. And so um, I think it was the need for the business around here. Um, because all the customers were going to Crossville and so they wanted right. something local so they wouldn't have to drive as far. Well that, that's good so that makes you part of the community where you can interact with people. That's right. And I'm sure the people appreciate that, appreciated that too. I know they did I mean to this day they do so they don't have to drive as far and they just come down here get what they need and get back to what they're working on. Well, other than uh, local customers, do you have customers that come from out of town or maybe from yeah, the Pikeville area? Yeah, uh, we have um, some come from Spencer in that area. Uh, still, there's people that come from Crossville. If they don't have what they're looking for, they'll come up here, uh, Dunlap. I mean, it, it's just where the parts are at for uh -huh. the, the auto for Auto Zone is where the customers go if they need them. Mm -hmm. Well, I know y'all carry a wide variety of parts, but is there a, like a in other words, Pipeville versus Dunlap or Crossville, do they carry, like if Crossville had a certain area need for certain types of parts, do they carry that more than you would? Is that how that operates? It operates a lot on volume, and we actually, our parts are what most of the customers need in this area. Um, so, like, you know, we pretty much sell everything for a 350 Chevy, you know, Chevy, you know and um, so we don't sell as many, we don't stock as many parts as like Crossville would, but we can get them very easily the next day or that afternoon for the customer if they need to come here to get them. Oh, okay, that makes it uh, easier for the customer. Yeah, sure. And, uh, and like you just said, if y'all don't have it, you can get it. Yes, most parts, I mean, probably 98% we can get. There's some parts we can, you know, um, but 98 percent we we can get or it can get here in a couple of days mm -hmm. and i guess a lot of times that depends on the age of the vehicle too you yeah. know yeah. some of those parts are no longer made and you have to use or other uh, if the newer newer vehicles we don't have them yet you know right so that that's a that's a good idea um well um how have the other businesses around here are they are uh, glad you're here i mean they've work with you um, we all work together you know I mean we're, we're a community we have to you know whatever we do whatever we need you know uh, there's many businesses around here that are just very welcome to AutoZone being here well not not only just uh, the 
maybe the local mechanic or the shade tree mechanic, but uh, even the businesses that have fleets of trucks like BTC Fiber and other places. Yeah, and you know, BTC, um, the, the telephone company is one of our commercial accounts. And like we have many commercial accounts around here. It's a lot different than a customer that would walk in that we call our DIY customer. Um, but the um, commercial customer, we actually have delivery drivers that go to their businesses and deliver parts to them so they don't have to get out of their shop and stop what they're working on and they can get those parts when they need them. And I guess, do you also deliver to other uh, like uh, mechanic shops that uh, that would need parts mm -hmm. from we vehicles sure they're working on? Mm -hmm. We sure do. Um, we have probably about 30 different accounts here in Pikeville under our commercial account. and. Um, you know, whatever they need, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of them the best we can. Um, you know, um, if we have to go to another store to get what they need, we do mm -hmm. it. Um, whatever the case may be, it's, as it comes, we, we do our best. And um, we, um, we have two delivery drivers here that go around to all the shops every day, Monday through Friday. And, um, you know, we have um, a lot of great shops here in Pikeville uh -huh. that do a lot of great service for our, for our, for our community. Um, and we're very proud to have them as commercial accounts for us. Well, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh yeah, do y'all have uh, other services y'all perform other than the, the parts and the various things you have on stock and the Oh, yeah. do do, what, what, are, what do y'all do? Well, we, we will test your battery for free. We will charge your battery for free if it needs it. Um, we will um, install, you know, wiper blades on your vehicle. Um, we will, um, headlights, uh, we put in batteries. We do check engine lights. If your check engine light's on, we'll check it and see what's going on for you. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we do that. We'll go out to your vehicle, and maybe if you're, you're hearing something, we'll try to help. I mean, we can't like fix it because we're not mechanics, but we can help try to diagnose it a little bit. But like I said, we're not mechanics. Right. We'll do our best for you, but that's all we can do. But um, we do offer a lot of free services for y'all. Well, I guess that keeps you busy too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We also have repair info on most vehicles. You know, if you have, if you're trying to repair a part on your repair your car or your truck, um, we can pull up repair info for your vehicle as well. Oh, okay. So if someone doesn't quite know how to fix it, you can exactly. uh, assist them that way. Well, that, but then that's... YouTube, you know, a lot of people go to YouTube now, so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, or Google, you know. You can just about find anything on Google I or know, YouTube. I know, right. That, that's interesting. Um, well, is there uh, uh, any, are there any type of parts that you don't sell or don't carry yeah I wish we would carry more lawnmower parts and ATV parts we don't carry like starters and and, and things like uh, things like that for those we do carry like the basics like filters and um, air filters spark plugs um, but you know we don't carry a lot of that or for tractors we don't carry a lot of that and it'd be nice to carry some of that but you know we only have so much room uh -huh. and there's some of those things that we can order but it's, you know, we have to, um, it's case by case. We just can't say we can get that or that. We have to know exactly what it is in order to see if we can get it for you. Right. And they probably could get, uh, I guess they check a lot of times on farm equipment anyway to, at the co-op and things like that. They do. I mean, we work with the co-op. We work with uh, Valley Ag. I mean, all the other, you know, Napa, you know, cells. I mean, all the different companies. I mean, we... we always try to push business here in Pikeville mm -hmm. because we need to support our community and um, support other retailers in this community. So if it's something you, uh, you couldn't carry or, or couldn't get to, you'd call the others and say, hey, can y'all get this or do y'all carry this? Or if the customer doesn't wait, want, want to wait for it to call us, we'll just say, hey, you know, Valley Ag's right across the street or Napa's right across the street. They might have it for you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good because um, it takes uh, everyone to, you know. It does. It does. Because not everybody carries everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, that, that'd be almost impossible. It would be. It would be. And um, um, do you have, um, I guess for lack of a better word, uh, like memberships uh, where people could uh, they get discounts? or is there Yeah, we have a rewards program. And basically all it is is um, 
you have you sign up for your rewards and your email signing up for email you get um, a lot of different um, coupons in there and like what's going on at AutoZone and then um, every time you come into our store and you use your reward you give us your phone number uh, you'll get a credit if you spend twenty dollars before tax once you receive five of those credits you get twenty dollars you know to spend in here so that's kind of a reward for them uh -huh. for coming back time and time again and, uh, you may have just said this I don't recall uh, do you have an app that people can pull up on their phones yes we have an app we have them at the door um, or you know we can you know it's on it's on our receipts actually oh, okay. if you pull if you buy anything from AutoZone it's going to be on the bottom of your receipt mm -hmm. oh so they can do that as well yeah and that keeps them I guess that keeps them up with all the sales and specials you have from time to time yeah yeah or you know there's our, we have sale ads here at the store you can just scan that app on that ad and it'll li link you to AutoZone to Pikeville mm -hmm. oh okay that, that's pretty neat and any you can put in it there any reviews that you might have about our store too that helps us out so we know what we need that we're doing good and what we can do better mm -hmm. oh, okay well uh, you have some information that uh, you wanted to share or is anything on that you have I, I just wanted to, uh, I just want to say you know every day when we come into when we come to work for AutoZone you know we have a pledge and uh, you know AutoZone this is what we're built on and our pledge is simply four things that we think about with every customer um, we always put customers first um, we know our parts and products, our stores look great, and we've got the best merchandise at the right price. And um, we want to give that to our customer of Pikeville because we can't we can't do it without them. You know, they come here because they trust us, and we need them to trust us so that they can, so that we can continue serving Pikeville. Well, I and mean, most people, if if they get mistreated somewhere, they don't go back. Right, and you know. And if, if, if they do, tell us about it so that we can fix it and we can move on and we can help you the next time you need something. Because, I mean, a part, an auto parts store, not everybody needs something from an auto parts store every day. Right. You know, because maybe they, they don't have the need for it. But when they do need it, we want to be there for them. And we want them to trust us. Right, because it might be just washer fluid. They just need some right? washer fluid. Or yeah, something. or something basic, or wax, or whatever they can, or a, or a socket for you know, uh, you know, you know, paint. Who knows what they might need? You know, day in and day out. But like, if they need like you know a brake job and or you know brakes and rotors and calipers, you know, we got it for them. We can get it for them, and we're gonna do whatever we can to make them happy because we they, we want them to come back. Well, I brought up the negative, but also on the positive side, when people are treated right, they come back. They do, they do, and um, our customers, I mean, they're very loyal to us, and we're loyal to them, and it goes both ways, you know, can't have one without the other. And, I, and I, uh, based on what you've told me, I know that if someone purchased something and then they came back and said, hey, this didn't work, or this is not, not exact, you know, you would work with them. Yes, you know, they. You know, we need to make sure we have, you know, the receipt and everything, but yeah, we, we'll take care of them. I mean, things happen where either we, we sell them the wrong part or they or we make a mistake or somebody makes a mistake down the road. I mean, we're human beings and um, we'll take care of them, sure, you know. Well, I know one time I bought a uh, lawnmower battery from a riding lawnmower mm -hmm. and turned out it was a bad battery when I, I installed it and everything. It happens. So, so I took it back. And, of course, it was no problem. They just exchanged it because yeah. they tested it right there and said, oh, this is a bad battery. Yeah, you know, it's sad. I mean, we don't make the parts. We right. sell them. And so we have to kind of just, you know, sell what we what gets sent in to us. Right. Um, and so, you know, it happens. It's, I mean, you know, human beings make these parts, you know, and yeah. it's not going to be a perfect world. But we can make it better by taking care of it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Well, anything else you want to add to what we said? Uh, not really. I just, I just want to appreciate the, the community of Pikeville for trusting us and, and, and make, letting us be here with them for 16 years. I think that's amazing. And we want to be here for another 16 and just be here for the Pikeville community. Mm -hmm. Well, if you've been here this long, you're probably going to be here. I think gonna I be think here we're going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Well, listen, I appreciate you being with us today. You and, got it. Uh, it was informative. 
-hmm. so we appreciate that and, and I guess folks you can tell that we're not exactly in our normal place we're back here in the parks uh, department so uh, uh, but anyway uh, come by and see the f fine folks here at AutoZone until next time be w watch for our interviews on BTC Fibers YouTube page and BTC Fibers Cable Channel 18 and also thank you for our, our sponsors Embers Ice Cream of Pikeville, Nickel Row Antique of Pikeville and also White Wagon Bed and Breakfast of Pikeville. So until next time have a great day. Hey everybody this is Glenn Edison from Valley Views. We appreciate you watching our shows and we would like for you to like, share and follow us on Facebook as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube page.